Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about generating and analyzing number patterns. So a pattern is something you've started learning about all the way back in preschool. We've looked at patterns of colors and shapes and numbers. So an example of a pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. So for example, two, four, six, eight. When we see that when we're skip counting, we see patterns everywhere in our life. But now to make it a little bit more complicated, we're going to talk about the and what makes up a pattern. So we're going to start with a term. A term is the number or the object that's in the pattern. So for example, in our pattern of two, four, six, and eight, two is the first term, the first number or object in that pattern. We also are going to talk about rules. A rule tells you how to get to the next term in the pattern. So for example, with our pattern two, four, six, eight, our rule is to add two. So if we had four, two plus two is four, four plus two is six, and six plus two is eight. So each time we're adding two more. So that is our rule. So let's look at an example. Our rule is going to be to multiply by three, and our first term is two. And it wants us to list the first five terms in this pattern. So we're going to start with two and we're going to do two times three because that's our rule to multiply by three. Two times three is six. So six is our second term. Now again, we're going to take six and we're going to follow the rule, multiply by three. So six times three is 18. 18 will become our third term. Now we're going to follow the rule again, multiply 18 times three. 18 times 3, I did the hard work for you, is 54. Notice our number is getting much larger now, so now 54 is our new term. And I know, don't freak out on me, but we now have to multiply 54 times 3. I'll give you the answer, it's 162. Next time I'll make you work it out on your own. But 162 is our next term. So our terms are 2, 6, 18, 54, and 162, and our rule was to multiply by 3. Here's another example. This time our rule says to subtract by 4. The first term is going to be 60. Notice we're starting at the larger number because we're going to be taking away with each term. So starting with 60, we're going to subtract 60 minus 4, which is 56. So our second term is 56. Then we're going to do 56 minus 4, which is 52. So our third term is 52. And then 52 minus 4, which is 48. So 48 will be our next term, fourth term. And then 48 minus 4 is 44. So our final and fifth term is 44. So with the rule subtract 4, with our first term of 60, we're going to start with 60. 56, 52, 48, and 44. It's important to always look and, and analyze our pattern to make sure it's making sense. If we're subtracting, our terms should be getting smaller. If I looked at this and I was my terms were getting bigger, that would tell me I did something wrong because I was not subtracting. So anytime we're adding or multiplying, our term should be getting larger. Anytime we're subtracting or dividing, our terms will be getting smaller. So just to remember, a pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. A term is the number or objects in the pattern. So for example, in this pattern, two is the first term. And the rule tells us how to get to the next term in the pattern. So for this example, we added two. Add two is the rule. I hope this was helpful. Please click like below and subscribe for more math lessons from the Math Maniac. Have a great day.